Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Lo. I'm gonna watch My New Academia Season 3, Episode 20. I just watched the episode 19. This morning, if you want to see my reaction video about it, I'm gonna put the link into the eye. I'm gonna put the link also for the playlist of My Hero Academia. In case you don't know it, I'm binge watching this anime so you can have all of my reactions to all of the first seasons, you know, into this eye, all videos into the chronological order and stuff like that. And I'm seeing it at the beginning of this intro, you know, to change. You have my Patreon, if you want, on which you can have four episodes of advance for this binge watching, which means two weeks of advance, which means that if you're subscribing right now to my Patreon, you're gonna have my reaction video about the episode 24. I don't know what is gonna happen during the episode 24, but I can just imagine that it's almost the end of the season, so surely it's a big episode. For now! I'm gonna discover the episode 20 and it's already cool, it's already great because we're already at the beginning of the second test of this exam and I'm really seeing at the beginning and not at the middle because for me everything is really beginning right now for this second test. Like I said it at multiple occasions, the first test I hated it because for me it's so against all of the things you know about being a hero. Again, they are doing all of that because they want a license, a provisional one, it's not even a real one, a provisional license to be an hero. How on earth, even on their earth, this first test was representing really the job that you have to make as a hero. Like, to get a license, it's to show that you have the knowledge to do things, that you know the rules of something, that you are good, you know, at making it. Nothing during that first test was something great, you know, to have a license to be an hero. To eliminate people who have the same dreams than you, who are not bad people, who are not villains, like just you're eliminating people who are like you, I don't see how it can be great. It happened, it's like that, I'm not okay with it, let's move on. That second test, the first part of it, I was really like, that's it. Now, finally, we are really going, you know, with what is really being a hero, meaning rescuing people, saving people, That's what our guys they are learning since the first day, you know, that they put their <laughs> themselves, you know, into that school. Like that's the first thing that they learned. You have to be a hero to rescue people, to save people. They had even exercises about it. I think that it was during one of the special episodes that we spent with them, with them being taught how to do it, you know, the fact that you have to reassure the victims. The fact that you have to be sure that they are okay, that you have to make them escape and stuff like that. Like really, it's such an important part. So it was a surprise for me that it was only the second test. And when it happened, I was like, okay, that's it, finally. It was a little fun, all of the thing about these guys being hired to play the victims. And it's really something, an organization, an association. And because of that, they have certain rules about how you have to do it. And you know that kid, what he said to Deku, you shouldn't act like that, you should reassure me first. And for sure he was right and Deku recognized it. And Deku agreed with it. You know, even remembered that moment with All Might, smiling at everyone, reassuring everyone. So he tried to do the same. So that's really great. And what is really interesting, it's now the fact that they're gonna be also attacked by villains, you know, fake villains. 
and it's really a parallel with what happened during the attack of the League of Villains so I think that it's interesting for that to see what all guys you know they learned during that moment and I think that this test in fact it's the entire exam and it should have been the entire exam because that's the two main things about being a hero you have to save and rescue people and you have to defend and protect them by fighting villains that's it that's all so i'm glad about that second part also for me you know at the end of the last episode they were asking the question like what are you gonna do are you gonna fight or are you gonna run are you gonna help or are you gonna go for the fight and all and for me it's more something like they have to continue to search for victims and to rescue them and they have to protect and defend the victims that they already have you know to go out there to fight villains attack villains i'm not feeling right about it because i don't want the victims you know to be unprotected during that moment i think that maybe this exercise might be about that for sure they need to work together, they need to think about a plan together, it could be great. It's going to be difficult for some of them, but it could be great. During that moment, oh, I'm not sure that it's going to be during that moment, I mean during this episode, that we're going to have the truth about why this guy, the wind guy, and you know how much I love his quirk because I'm saying it in the beginning, I think that it would be my quirk. I mean, since the beginning, since the beginning of this anime, since I discovered, you know, what is a quirk, I said that mine would be something around wind, controlling wind and stuff like that. So for sure, I appreciate it to discover his quirk. But his character, the fact that he hates that much Todoroki because he's Andover's son, meaning that he has a particular story with Andover, I want to know about it. But at the same time he said something like you don't remember me, you don't remember it, he said. So maybe they met but when he was a kid, I don't know but I want to know for sure and I want to know if it's because of that that he didn't want to come into our school. We'll see. And we have other students for who it's gonna be difficult you know, to work together. Bakugo for example. But also some others you know in other schools and during the last episode we had that moment with Ochako confessing to herself admitting but to herself that she has feelings for Deku but just after that saying that she's gonna put her feelings away because she needs to be focused and during that moment I was like yes you need to be focused on the fight and in fact she wants to put them away for a long time because she wants to be an hero and be focused on that I'm sad because I want this ship to open, but like I said, how can I blame, you know, and be mad at a woman who wants to focus on her career and to not focus on the crush that she has when she's a teenager, you know, a student and all. She knows what she has to do. I can just, you know, like be, okay, okay, girl, go for it. It's your career, you know, it's your dream job. Go for it, my girl. I ship this too, so at the same time I'm like, whoa, you're not gonna give it to me. You gave to me all of these things about her beginning to have a crush and all to just erase it. Not fair. Okay, I'm gonna stop this intro right now. Let's go for this episode. Like I said earlier, if you want on my Patreon, we have four episodes of Advance, two weeks of Advance. It's really a lot. And it's really also a lot of work for me to have these four episodes of Advance on my Patreon and you have them with an extended awful reaction part it's big advantages that I'm giving to you on my Patreon to encourage you, you know, to come on my Patreon because I'm a little director so I'm not considered at all by YouTube and it's really with your help, with your support on Patreon that I can continue this channel so if you want me to continue this channel and these videos you can come on my Patreon. Let's go for this episode! What? 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 I don't know. What is this introduction? Hmm. 
Before yes, you can still transform. Why I'm in that now? To come back to David, to come back to the gauntlet, to come back to what he did in the movie. And I'm confused by the title of this episode. Before the training camp, I'm... Oh, so you didn't change at all back to Brunat yet? Often with it, it's not gonna last for a long time. You're giving her orders? You have a plan? That you're sharing with them? That you can see. It's just gonna go for it, right? Like always. We all did. No, you're someone too. I never forget, you know, that one of the teachers is a sneak, you know, is a rat. Just know that I keep that in mind right now to see which one is lying the best. Your girl? <laughs> yes, you can't touch our people, you know, threaten them or like that. You're keeping your eyes on him and you know him enough for that. 
私もヴィランに命令されて宝石を袋に詰めている時に警察が駆けつけたからです宝石店の外から誰かが見ていて警察に通報したいただいたあなたですね私があなたは以前からヴィランと知り合いだったんじゃありませんかだが宝石店を襲うことを事前に知ったあなたは襲撃後即座に警察へ通報そして警察が来る前に自ら宝石店に入ったあなたが何度説得してもヴィランは握手をやめなかった事件のテクカの推理通りだとしてもどうしてヴィランは殺されたのだから犯人は Is one of the other ones? この中にはいないよもしかして自殺かそもし自分が捕まれば自分とミッドナイトとの関係が警察にバレるかもしれないと Just to protect her? Already you guessed a lot of things they could. It's just a night, remember? Midnight, like. It's a romantic solution. I prefer that, but you're so good at playing midnight, you know, at acting and all. Maybe she's the rat, the snitch. And I don't see at least about the exam or on that. Yes, but I don't understand why now. You already went to eat. It was just a teaser episode for the movie. I'm confused and I'm, I'm a little mad. I have the impression that they cheated with this episode, the episode 20 right there. It's not the episode 20, it's a special episode that I should have watched before the movie, you know, like chronologically nothing is functioning and for the story for really how can it be interesting to see all of that right now in fact it's not interesting you know i really thought watching this episode okay at some point we're gonna learn something maybe a little info a little detail which is gonna be interesting for the second test you know of this exam 
something about one character, I don't know, or just an information which can be interesting for the end of the season, which is close. Like, really, I was focusing on that. And in fact, this entire episode was a promotion for the movie. I don't know how it happened, you know, when the movie was out according to the season, like, for what I understand right now, this season, the season 3 was out and the movie came, you know, when the season was out, you know, almost at the same time. And that's why they are making the promotion of the movie right now with this special episode to tell to people, okay, the movie, it's happening before the summer training camp, but you're gonna have it right now. If you want to understand who is Melissa, who is Dave, what happened and all, you have to go watch the movie. It's really like the prologue of the movie that I already watched, you know, before the season 3. Chronologically, it doesn't make sense to put this episode right there because we were into the middle of this exam and we're coming back to before this entire season. For the, for the story, it doesn't make sense because it's not gonna help the rest of the season, the rest of the story. And for the movie, I'm not even sure that it makes sense to put this special episode, this promotion right there. If not, you know that it was out during the same period of time. So for me, with binge watching this anime, I'm a little like, it's not fair, you cheated. Okay, this episode was nice and I'm gonna talk about it during this review, but bah, I feel like they cheated and it's not fair. And no, I didn't lose my time or anything like that because still we spent time with all characters and it was nice. But... I wanted more about this exam, or at least I wanted something important. We are close to the end of the season. I don't want funny episodes which are not bringing something to the story and or to the characters. Maybe, you know, the only thing that I can take from this episode which can be interesting for the future is the fact that Midnight, she can lie that well. You know that since a long time, we have that suspicion of having one of the teachers betraying us, being a snitch, a rat, working for the League of Villains. And I always kept that information on mind because each time that we are seeing the teachers, I'm like, okay, one of you is making a weird face, one of you is doing something a little weird. Like really, I want to, to know who can be that rat, that snitch, is it? Is, is she someone that we already know? I have trouble to suspect any of them. With this episode, I'm like, all of you were acting, playing another role, and Midnight, really, you were so good at it, you cried for it, and you switched in just one second after that. Maybe that's something, you know, that I have to, to put against you. And because of the fact that before this episode I had no suspect, now she's gonna be my main and only suspect, you know, because of that. Maybe Midnight is that right? Is working for the League of Villains? You know, I'm trying to remember each time that we had her, like for example during the sport festival, she played a big part. I don't know. For the rest of this episode, you know, all of this exercise with these six guys, for sure I appreciate to see them working together. For sure it's not a surprise for Bakugo to try to do something on his own, you know, to just go for it. What was a little a surprise for me is the fact that at the beginning he had a plan involving Ochako. He gave her an order because of that plan, like, he was okay to work with them at the beginning. That was a surprise when in fact they entered and All Might was on the floor and they had to guess who was the true villain or at least what happened I thought that it was fun, it was a good detective mode episode for sure Bakugo, he didn't care about it at all and for sure Deku discovered the truth the story was really complicated, you know 
for the coup to guess all of that it was really great it was really romantic like at some point i was like midnight she's crying so much and all like is she truly in love with all might or something like that <laughs> it was a little weird but at the end no she was really playing well and that's why now she's gonna be one of my main suspects to be the rat among the teachers and for the, the entire thing you know to finish like that with them getting zero points because in fact all might as a villain was not dead and the fact that he reacted during that moment with two that was not a mistake that was a clue it's really not fair it's really boah. I'm not really considering it, you know, I'm not mad at it or anything like that, just bore. So yes, it was a funny episode, it was a cool episode, but right now, during our season, it's weird chronologically. It's weird because we're into a moment of tension, of action, so it's weird. And they got me, you know, like, that's it, you had your moment of promotion, but me... Uh, Binge watching this anime, it makes no sense and... Okay, so that's it. It's all for me for today. You know, maybe it's also because of that. Because I know that I'm not gonna watch really the end of this exam until entire days, you know, at least one week. I don't know what is gonna happen next. So maybe it's also because of that. I'm like... Normally, I, I should have had, you know, the end of this exam and because of this promotional episode I'm not gonna have it no matter what it's all for you and for me for today so it's all for me for now so bye for now bye wait a minute wait a minute doc uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine Crazy.